Okay, tech fans, gadget freaks, and those who just love new technology. Now, what's been considered the worst kept secret in the technology industry is now coming out. What am I talking about? Samsung's new Galaxy Note 8.0. That's right. So check this thing out. It's going to be an 8-inch screen. It's going to be a phone, camera, and everything else all in one. Now, is this thing going to be too big for people to use? Is it going to be a pain in the butt? We would be able to take a picture with it. I mean, uh, kind of tripping. So for now, let's hop in and let's talk about some of the specs now that they're confirmed for the new Galaxy Note 8.0. The Galaxy Note 8.0 is pretty well designed. It comes in at 338 grams. It actually feels pretty decent. From what I've heard, it's not too heavy. You can even use it with one hand. Samsung claims that it used the standard moleskin notebook as a cue when designing the Note 8.0. And while common in that particular fact might place Samsung in the line of fire for yet another series of lawsuits, we can say that the dimensions of the Galaxy Note 8.0 seem pretty cool. Like I said before, it's easy to handle with one hand, but it's also large enough to provide a nice, good screen real estate. It has a great balance of specs as well, which include a 1.6 GHz quad-core Exynos processor, 2 GB of RAM, a massive 4600 AAH battery, GPS, Bluetooth 4.0, and an 8-inch LED screen that packs a relatively, actually by today's retina standards, 189 pixels per inch. The rumor performance was quite impressive, but one thing to note is that the 5 megapixel rear camera is next to useless. Then again, using the Note 8.0 as a camera is about as comfortable as attempting to make a phone call on it because it's so damn big. Now there'll also be a lot of apps on here as well. Note 8.0 features a premium suite of apps designed to make use of the S Pen stylus. Building on the success of the Wacom designed input device that has made the Note line so distinct, the new Note allows third-party developers to utilize its hover gestures to build new features into their software. As a proof of their new concept, the Galaxy Note 8.0 will launch with a new version of Flipboard that features an expanding tile option initiating by hovering the pen over a content file. One other really cool feature that's really unique to the Note 8.0 is an enhanced readers mode that automatically adjusts screen settings to optimize the device for reading ebooks, a new remote program designed to replace your universal TV remote, and an enhanced multimedia windows mode that really shines on the new 8 inch screen. So all right, folks, what do you guys think about that? Is eight inches too big? Now we all know that there's also going to be a Samsung 10.1 coming out as well. I've seen commercials on it already. You know, LeBron James on it going, yeah. You know, so he's sponsoring that thing. So we know that's coming as well. Samsung's not too good at keeping secrets, obviously. Also, if you guys want to see some more pictures or an in-depth article on this, please check out my article over on www.techoftomorrow. I wrote a full-blown article on this, and you guys see that. Now, next up on the news today, check it out, the new Chromebook Pixel. What is the Pixel? Well, it's basically a 12-inch, $1,200 a Chromebook. Now it's going to have this awesome pixel display. A storage on it isn't that great, but there's going to be something really interesting about that. Now with that said, let's go in and let's check out what new Google's Chromebook Pixel is all about. All right, folks, so it looks like the rumors were true. Google announced the Chromebook Pixel. It's a 12.85 inch touchscreen Chromebook with a 2560 by 1700 display that packs in the highest pixel density per inch of any laptop screen on the market today. 239 pixels per inch. That's really incredible. Now, the Chromebook is going to weigh in at 3.35 pounds. And the Chromebook Pixel includes a 1.8 gigahertz dual core Intel Core i5 processor, Intel HD 4000 graphics, four gigabytes of RAM, Two USB ports, now these USB ports are only 2.0, let's just clarify that right there. Has a main display port, two-in-one card reader, and a 32 gigabyte SSD. Now Google has also quoted up to five hours of active use for the battery life. But of course, the main attraction is the display screen. It's a 12.85 display with a 3-2 aspect ratio, 2560 by 1700 at 239 pixels per inch, 400 nit screen with 178 degree extra wide viewing angle. All right, folks. So with that said, do you guys think that this thing is kind of overpriced? Now, there's one thing I want to mention. People that are buying this right now, you'll get one terabyte 
of Google Cloud Storage. That's right. So you get a terabyte and you get it for three years. Now this usually costs $50 a month, $600 a year, but if you buy this thing now, you get three years of free one terabyte storage. Now, if you add the numbers up, that makes the price on this thing drop significantly. Because think about it, that's $1,800 worth of free shiznik. A lot of people have said they think this thing's just an overpowered thing to surf the web. I don't know. The retina screen's really nice. It is a bit pricey at $12, you know, $99 or whatever it's coming out at. You know, we'll see what the prices are because they always quote them out and they change as they hit the market, but it's right around there. So what do you guys think? of this do you guys think this new google chromebook pixel is like wow something really interesting i think it's kind of like uh an ultrabook just kind of the light ultrabook with an awesome awesome screen let me hear your thoughts like usual i've written a full article on this specking out all the details and everything you guys can see that in the link in the description below where you can also see the written article all right folks so last up in the news now there's a company called mez they're out of thailand these guys make very unique headphones. Now, people will say out there, oh, you know, I can buy you know cheap cans for a hundred dollar range. Okay, well, let me talk about these new headphones. These are the Mez 77 Classics. Now, these things have a 50 millimeter cone in them. They have great sound, really great clarity, gold plug-ins. But the big thing is they're made of ebony wood. Ebony wood creates a very natural sound environment. You guys can see, looking at the pictures right here of the headphones, every one is unique. No two are identical at all. Look at the nice soft foam cups around the outside. These fit really nice on your ears. Now we've already done one video showing you a sound test. And now I've written also a full written article on these headphones for you guys to check out also on the site. So that's pretty much it, folks. Three news stories, all coming up, all really cool stuff. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion. Like usual, check out the link in the description below where it'll have links to all of these articles for you guys to check out. And with that said, I hope you guys like this video. If so, show me that love. Hit that like button, baby, because you know I love you back. Also, make sure you subscribe because we always have weekly Twitter giveaways, random giveaways, and we're going to be having a giant... Giveaway soon! So we'll see you back here on the channel.